Lakshmi Prasad Devgota, a Nepali poet, playwright, and novelist, is also known as the poet with the golden heart. He is honored with the title of Mahakavi, meaning the great poet. He is considered as one of the greatest and the most famous literary figures of Nepal, who was extremely versatile as well. Some of his popular works include the best-selling Munamadan, along with Sulochana, Kunjini, Bikari, and Sakuntal. Devkota was born on the night of Lakshmi Puja, the festival of Mahalakshmi, goddess of wealth, on 12th November 1909, Bikram Samad 1966, Kartik 27, to father Til Madhav Devkota and mother Amar Raja Lakshmi Devi, in Thatuni, now Dhobidara Kathmandu. His father Til Madhav was a Sanskrit scholar, so he attended his basic education under the custodianship of his father. He was born during the celebration of Goddess Lakshmi, but his father considered him as the blessings of Goddess Saraswati, Goddess of Knowledge. He wrote, Ghanagor Dukkha Sagar Janabhai, Nagara E Ghamanda Kaili, Marnucha Hamilai, at the age of 10. He started his education at Darbar High School in Kathmandu, where he studied both Sanskrit, grammar, and English. After finishing his matriculation exams from Patna at the age of 17, he pursued the Bachelor's of Arts along with the Bachelor's of Laws at Tri Chandra College and graduated from Patna University as a private examinee. But his desire of completing his master's degree was left uncompleted due to his family's financial conditions. Only after a decade from his graduation as a lawyer, he started working in Nepal, Bhasanubad Parishad, Publication Censor Board, where he met famous playwright of Nepal, Balakrishna Shama. At the same time, he also worked as a lecturer at Tri Chandra College and Padmakanya campus. In the late 1930s, Debkota suffered from nervous breakdowns, probably due to the death of his mother, father, and his two months old daughter. Eventually, in 1939, he was admitted to the mental asylum of Rachi. India for five months. Devkota was an incredible creator. He wrote Kunjani Khanda Kabya, collection of poems in one day, and Sulochana Mahakabya only in ten days. His one of the most popular poems, Kun Mandirma Jan Yatri, describes how one's own body resembles a temple, a place to worship and care. Featured in the movie Basudev, in the voice of Robin Sarma, the verses of this poem praises the hands that work hard and carry very powerful and inspiring masses praising the good and the kind. The poem also suggests how the good state of body and mind helps for good karma. At his final stage, he said, He meant, I sang many feelings of humanity in my poems but it failed to tender human hearts as I had expected. Devkota also studied English literature. He had written in English too. After studying contemporary English literature, he introduced free verse style in Nepali literature. It must be his love for English language that he thanked a doctor who had come from the United States to visit him for his treatment. With his verses, he thanked Medical Angel and Spiritual Angel came to Nepal you have got the light of Jesus before your eyes. I never saw a greater miracle than such a doctor. Another one of his most popular poems, Pagal, is also translated in English with the title The Lunatic. Many literary figures have said that The Lunatic is the representation of many poets around the world. Despite the scarcity of comfort, Lakshmi Prasad Devkota expressed the greatest human feelings through his poems. The world deserves to know the greatness of his creations. If the world would have known his creative genius, he would have been awarded with the best awards like Nobel Prize in Literature. The ignorance of Nepali political leaders and the state leaders could not do much to reward this genius of literature. Going into debt later in life to finance his daughter's dowries and weddings, he is reported to have said to his wife, Tonight, let's abandon the children to the care of society and youth 
and I renounce this world at bedtime and take potassium cyanide or morphine or something like that. Lakshmi Prasad Devgota was a chain smoker throughout his life. After a long battle with the cancer, Devgota died on September 14, 1959 at the Ghat of Bagmati River in Pasupatinath Temple, Kathmandu. Thank you for watching this video about Lakshmi Prasad Devgota, the great poet, the genius of literature.